Hi everyone, welcome to our lesson in episode 2, The Title Tactic, Your First Step in the Science Investigatory Project Journey. I'm Teacher Arlen, and I'm excited to help you with this important topic. By the end of this episode, you will be able to understand the importance of a good title in an investigatory project, identify and describe the characteristics of a good title in SIP, and identify and follow the steps in formulating a meaningful and specific SIP title. These goals will help you as we dive deeper into the world of science investigatory projects. So, let's get started. Have you ever created a title for a science investigatory project? What do you think makes a good title for an SIP? In Science Investigatory Project, SIP, the title is the first part that introduces the project. It is a brief yet descriptive phrase that tells what the investigation is about. Titles are important because they tell the reader what your project is all about. A good title helps your reader understand the focus of your science investigatory project. Now let's talk about why having a good title is so important for your science investigatory project. First, a strong title gives your project its identity. It's the first thing people will see, and it sets the stage for what your project is all about. A clear and engaging title can catch someone's attention and make them want to learn more about your work. Second, a good title reflects the main idea of your investigation. It helps readers quickly understand what you are studying and what to expect in your project. For example, if your title is The Effect of Sunlight on Plant Growth, readers immediately know you're looking at how sunlight influences how plants grow. Third, a well-crafted title includes key variables. This shows that you have thought carefully about what you are testing. It tells your audience or readers what the independent variable is, what you are changing, and the dependent variable, what you are measuring. Lastly, a meaningful title helps you stay focused on your research. As you work on your project, having a clear title will remind you of the main goal you set out to achieve. It acts as a guide throughout your investigation. So remember, a good title is more than just a label. It's an essential part of your science investigatory project that can make a big difference. It captures interest, reflects your main ideas, includes important variables, and helps keep you focused on your investigation. Now that we understand why a good title is important, let's move on to the characteristics of a good title. Knowing these characteristics will help you create a title that effectively represents your project. Clarity. A good title should clearly convey what your project is about. Avoid vague language and be specific. For example, instead of saying plant growth, you could say how different types of soil affect plant growth. This makes it clear what you are studying. Conciseness. While clarity is important, your title should also be concise. Try to keep it short and direct to the point. Aim for a title that isn't too long or complicated, making it easy for your audience to remember. Relevance. Your title should relate directly to the main topic of your project. Make sure it includes key terms that highlight what you are investigating. This relevance helps your audience understand the focus of your study right away. Engagement. A good title should be interesting and engaging. It should spark curiosity and make people want to learn more about your project. Using action words or posing a question can help achieve this. For example, what happens to plants when they are exposed to different light conditions invites the audience to think about the experiment. Keywords. Finally, include important keywords that reflect the variables in your study. This helps both your audience and yourself remember the key elements of your project. Now that we know the characteristics of a good title, let's move on to the steps in formulating a title for your science investigatory project. Following these steps will help you create a title that meets all the important criteria we've just discussed. 
Now let's move on to the steps in making a science investigatory project title. Creating a clear and meaningful title is essential because it sets the stage for your entire project. Identify the main topic. The main topic is the subject of the investigation. It answers the question, what is the project about? Topic should something simple, like plants, water, or food. For example, if you are curious about how plants grow, the main topic could be plant growth. Determine the variables. Variables are the things that can be changed or tested in the experiment. It could be something you can change, like the type of soil, the amount of water, or something you observe, like plant height. Examples of variables. Independent variable. This is the variable you will change or manipulate. Example. The liquid you are using, such as water, juice, or soda. Dependent variable. This is what you will measure or observe as a result of your changes. Example. The growth of the plant, which you might measure by its height, in centimeters, or the number of leaves. Controlled variable. These are the factors that you will keep the same throughout your experiment to ensure a fair test. Examples. The type of plant you are using, like all plants are tomato plants. The amount of sunlight each plant receives, like all plants receive six hours of sunlight. The type of soil used for each plant, like all plants are grown in potting soil. The size of the containers used for planting, like all plants are in one liter pots. State the objective. The objective is the goal of the experiment. It explains what you are trying to find out. It answers the question, what do you want to discover or prove? This helps make the title focused and purposeful. Example, if you want to know which type of soil helps plants grow best, the objective would be to test the effect of different soils on plant growth. Finally, combine the elements. Once the topic, variables, and objective are clear, combine them into a short and specific title. The title should describe the experiment in a way that someone reading it will know what the project is about. For example, you already identified the topic, which is plant growth, the variables are the types of soil, and the objective is to test the effect of different types of soil on plant growth, now, you combine these to create the title and it will look like this. By following these steps and understanding your variables, you're well on your way to creating a strong and effective title for your science investigatory project. Remember, a good title is your project's first impression, so make it clear and meaningful. Now, let's explore and learn together. It's time to put what we've discussed into practice. We'll work on crafting some titles and see how well we can apply what we've learned. Let's get started. The class will be divided into five groups, each with four to seven members. Each group will select two problems from the list and create a meaningful title for each one using the characteristics discussed earlier. After the groups have created titles, they will present them to the class. Here's another activity. Read the problem carefully and choose the best title. The group that answers correctly first will earn the points. The group with the most points wins.
Let's recap what we've learned so far. In Science Investigatory Project, SIP, the title is the first part that introduces the project. It is a brief yet descriptive phrase that tells what the investigation is about. Importance of a good title in a science investigatory project. One, a strong title gives your project its identity. Two, a good title reflects the main idea of your investigation. Three, a well-crafted title includes key variables. Four, a meaningful title helps you stay focused on your research. A good title is more than just a label. It's an essential part of your science investigatory project that can make a big difference. It captures interest, reflects your main ideas, includes important variables, and helps keep you focused on your investigation. Characteristics of a good science investigatory project. Title one, clarity. Title should clearly convey what your project is about. Two, conciseness. Try to keep it short and direct to the point. Three, relevance. Title should relate directly to the main topic of your project. Fourth, engagement. A good title should be interesting and engaging. Five, keywords. Include important keywords that reflect the variables in your study. Steps in making a science investigatory project. Title one, identify the main topic. Two, determine the variables. Three, state the objective. Four, combine the elements. Now that we've gone over everything, it's time to evaluate what we've learned. Let's put your skills to the test and see how well you can apply the steps in formulating a strong title for a science investigatory project. Read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on your paper. Once you're done, please submit your work to your research teacher for review and checking. How was your test? I hope it went well. Don't worry if you found some parts challenging, that's part of the learning process. Now, as part of your assignment, there will be an additional activity where you'll apply what you've learned. Think about something you're curious about or would like to learn more about. It can be related to science, nature, health, or any other area of interest. Write two to three sentences explaining why you chose this topic and what you hope to learn from your experiment. Take a look at the given example to guide you in completing your assignment. Please write your answer in your research notebook and submit it to your research teacher for review and checking. That brings us to the end of our lesson for today. I hope you've gained a lot of useful insights on creating a strong and effective title for your science investigatory project. Before we go, let me leave you with a quote to inspire you as you continue on your research journey. Research is to see what everybody else has seen and to think what nobody else has thought by Albert Sent Gyorgyi. Keep thinking creatively and exploring new ideas. I can't wait to see the amazing titles and projects you come up with. And don't forget, watch out the episode three where we'll explore deeper into the parts of an SIP. Until next lesson, thank you.